Hey friends, today I'm doing a quick video on how to solder to the vias when you are installing a screen kit on either the Game Boy Color or the Game Boy Pocket. Now only some screen kits have this option like the OSD screen kit or the funny playing laminated screen kit. Right here I have the non laminated screen kit from funny playing which you have to solder to the start and select pads to get into the settings to change the color logos and stuff like that. Now you can solder to P12 and P13 but I personally don't like that because if you're using a clear shell this is what you would see. You would see a big wire going through the middle of the Game Boy which is can be a little bit messy looking and when making aesthetic things like a Game Boy it's always nice to keep the build as clean as you can. Even though I have a big fingerprint on this pocket here, you can see what it would look like if I had just a wire cutting right through the board. So to solder to the vias, we're going to use these two. I'm going to use my hook tip soldering iron. Now the vias are coated with a plastic that you need to kind of brush off or melt through. Here I'm using a fiberglass pen. You can buy these on my website. They're really popular in watchmaking. So I'm just rubbing the vias a bit just to give them a bit of um, rough them up and give them a bit of texture that the solder will stick to. So just heating the pad for a few seconds and feeding solder to it. And you can see that via is all full of solder in the middle now. And then to add the wire, we just remelt the solder and slip the little wire right in there. Now that wire would be hidden right behind the screen. Now going back in to solder the other pin, I will throw up on the screen right here a pin out of the vias in the controls. I'll also add it to my description so you can reference it whenever you need. So like I did before, just heating the pad, add a bit of solder, hold it for a few seconds and it should go in. Now I might make this look relatively easy because I'm quite confident soldering things like this. But as you can see with this one it, that I didn't brush, I can still solder to it but it's not nice and full like the other two are. So you might have to go in for a second go and there the V is nice and full with solder. I'm just going to jump in here and solder to a few more vias, just for examples. Now we're holding the iron to the pad, holding for a few seconds and then feeding the solder to it. Because there's one thing you really need to remember when you're soldering, not just vias but anything, is that you are heating the pad. So it is important to heat the pad and then feed solder to it. That's how the solder will stick. Now just putting the screen on top just to show it hides the crimes of the wires and it looks nice and clean like an original Game Boy. Just a magic new screen on there, no wires. So if you installed this in a clear shell, you wouldn't see these big ugly wires cutting right through the motherboard to those pads right above the start and select. It also opens up room for other mods if they need to use those pads. So good luck, I will put in the description a pinout for these vias and have a nice day.